going to challenge myself and try sculpting blindfolded. I made a face beforehand. Is it cheating? It might be. In my defense, I was trying to save some time. So yeah, let's do this. Where I want the eyes to be... Okay, does it help? No, it doesn't. <laughs> and now I'm going to add the nose. I think that's the center, right? I feel like it's gonna be a disaster. I can already predict it. I'm just carving out this shape of the eye. I thought sculpting blindfolded is gonna be easier than drawing blindfolded since it's three-dimensional, so you can kind of figure out where everything is by touching. But scratch that, no. Oh my god. Okay. Why does it feel so weird? You know, maybe you just have to be quick, you know, just go with your instinct. That's where the mouth is. I'm gonna make a smile. I'm just doing what I always do. I'm gonna push in the clay around. It's probably just looking creepy. Before I start it, I was thinking maybe I can do like a self-portrait. Where is it? Where is the cheek? Eyes? Nose? Lips? Cheek! <laughs> and I'm just using the palm of my hands to shape, you know, the outline of the face. The right one. That's where the left one is. And my dimples right here. Oh my gosh. I feel like the longer I work on it, the crazier it gets. Can we talk about this eyebrow here? So all the way over my temple. This one's on point. <laughs> and it looks like it has two mouths. Maybe we can try to fix it a little bit. Let me just at least finish the eyes. And there are just a lot of lines going on here. I think it's because I keep messing the eyes up and I keep trying to redo it. Okay, now I've looked at it for a while. I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> but I'll say 99% creepy and 1% cute.